find the G major chords and arpeggios next. Let's get to the finger. First, let's find the triad. So using the 4-3 pattern, or the major third, minor third, major third from G to B, and a minor third from B to D, and then find the chord exercises. So the same note with your first and fifth finger, and then try it with your left hand. And then try it with both hands. And then try the arpeggio. So play the broken chord in one octave, then play it in the next octave, then play the first note with your fifth finger. And then try it in your left hand. And then play it in both hands. chords and arpeggios. As always, practice these every day and post any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.